Okay, George. Uh, it is, first off, 66 degrees in Ohio. That's crazy. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Uh, OEC 2012. First off, what were your finishes in the OAC Junior High State Championship? Uh, seventh grade, I took third, and eighth grade, I took first. Who won your weight in seventh grade? Ryan Taylor. Ryan Taylor. Yeah. I think you might have got a little bit of revenge on him. Yeah, a little bit. Did he beat you? He beat me, yeah, in the semifinals. He beat you in the semifinals, he came back and took third. Then your eighth grade year, who did you beat in the finals your eighth grade year? Edgar Bright. You beat the mailman. Yeah, I beat the mailman. You beat him in the state finals in, at your junior year in high school too, right? Yes. So you're you're up on the series on the mailman. Yeah, 2-0. Okay. 2-0. 3-0, actually. 3-0. Districts, you... too. Districts, too? Uh, junior high districts. Junior high districts. Man, you had a lot, a lot of battles with them. Yeah, a lot of good kids. A lot of west side of Cleveland battles there, huh? Yep. Uh, okay, so this tournament is an excellent tournament. Uh, what do you think that says about this tournament? You you were only able to win it one time, and you won two high school state titles. What do you think it says about the OAC state championships? It says that there's a lot of depth in the tournament. There's a lot of tough competition. you got to be ready for every single match because it prepares you really well for the uh, high school state tournament. So. You, de there's, you definitely can't take it lightly. Did you do the Tulsa's and the kickoff classics and all I that? I went to Tulsa one time. Compare so, this to that. This is so much better of an experience. I mean, Tulsa, you get guys from all over the country, but you're only getting one kid from each state. And you get Ohio, the best of Ohio, all come down from north, south, east, west, everywhere. It's just amazing depth and something you can't get when you go out in Tulsa. I mean, it's still tough kids, but. Not the same experience. Yeah, for sure. Okay, uh, looking at your, you, your schedule coming up here, I was talking to Nate. Nate's heading out to uh, Iowa to the Dream Team Classic. Mm -hmm. What's going on with you? Uh, well, before that, I am going to Dream Team, but before that, I'm going to uh, Dapper Dan. Uh, I'm most likely going to be facing Nikki Roberts from uh, North Star. Uh, it'll be a really good match. I'm really excited for it. Preparing really well with uh, Kabbalah and everything. Everything's going well. My training took my two days off and got back into it. Two days off. That's all you took. Two days off. Yep. Uh, when you look at both of those experiences, you know that that makes you the undisputed number one in your weight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what do you got to do to keep that ranking to win in the Dream Team Classic and then to win against uh, against potentially Roberts? You just got to you know keep working hard. You know, just go out there. It's a grind. You know, treat it as if it's the national championship. And in this case, I mean, it could decide it who's the best. So I'm really excited. I really want to step it up for this match. I mean, my uh, Virginia coaches will be there, so you got to. You gotta press them, so it'll be pretty cool. UVA, speaking of UVA, uh, do you look to try and go there and start as a true freshman? I don't know. Uh, the kid there is, uh, he's gonna be a senior, retro senior next year, Matt Snyder. So, I don't know. I would probably step in if he would get hurt or something, but, you know, most likely I'll retro, you know, get that year under my belt, you know, I'll get a little bigger, pretty light right now, so. Do you look for a potential matchup with Jerome Robinson at 125 pounds next year? I mean, yeah, they duel him. They uh, duel Old Dominion at the end of every year. So, you know, I think it'd be uh, pretty interesting to duel Jerome, you know, after drilling with him for two years and him teaching me a bunch of stuff. I mean, awesome kid. It would be uh, it'd be fun to wrestle, you know. All right, your dad. Your dad's kind of. He's already. He's already demanding me what I need to do. Is your dad always like that? Tell me. Tell me I need to interview everybody. And what yeah. I need to do. Is he always like that. He. Uh, he was actually talking before with Adam. He was like, you know, the difference between me and a lot of other people is, you know, I'm a leader. I tell the people what to do. So he tries to run stuff when <laughs> he gets the chance. So. All right. Well, I'm gonna go in there and give him a little grief. All right. All right. All right you got anything else for me? Go flow wrestling.